Hey, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. My name's Robert and this is Pheasant Lane Farm. I want to make a short video. I know short videos usually aren't my thing, but uh, I've been kind of concerned about something, so I'm just going to put it out there and here goes. You guys know that I have been very happy with this Diamond C dump trailer I bought uh, almost a year ago, a little less than a year ago. This is a 2021 Diamond C low pro dump, 7K axles, scissor lift. Um, I've been very, very, mosquito, very happy with this trailer. It's done everything we've wanted it to do and more. And uh, I've never really had any issues with it. So with that being said, we ordered another Diamond C. My issue is, Shortly after I ordered that trailer, I've been seeing quite a few people who are having serious issues with trailers coming out of the Diamond Sea factory. Now, do I think this is the perfect dump trailer? No. Do I think the perfect dump trailer exists? No. Uh, there's a few things on this trailer I would change, but overall, mechanically, fit and finish, I don't have anything to argue about. Um, the, the the one thing two things that i do uh, i did a video on it i'm not happy with the lack the latch mechanism on the tarp when you're pulling the tarp back um, i think that could be a little bit better my only other issue with the trailer was the onboard battery charger uh went out on me kind of a hassle with my dealer um, i drove an hour and 20 minutes to get there it was draining the battery uh, i wouldn't even have power hooked to it uh, it'd be hooked to the truck. It'd be fully charged. The next day, it'd be so dead that it wouldn't even it wouldn't do anything. So I called these guys. I said, "Hey, I think the charger's bad. What do I do?" They said, "Bring it down here," which I did. Um, they said it was fine. It tested fine. I said, "Hey, I wouldn't have taken an hour and a half out of my day one way to for a thirty dollar part, thirty eight, whatever it is on Amazon." So those guys were kind enough. They threw a new one on. I've had zero issues since. But here's where my current issue started. When we were down there, my dad was with me. I was actually on the way to pick up kiddos round pen for horses. Uh, they put the new battery charger on the trailer. And they said, hey, you had mentioned that you might be in the market for a gooseneck flatbed. And I said, yeah, some things have changed. Uh, you know, right after I bought this trailer, a month after I bought this trailer last year, Seriously injured at work. I spent a long time in the hospital. I still have doctor's appointments every week for it. I'm still not working. Um, so that's a whole another story there. And they said, well, just to let you know, there was a price increase earlier this spring. I said, all right. They said, there's another price increase July 1st. And I said, all right. These guys sell a ton of trailers. So they, it's not that they weren't enforcing the spring price increase. But uh, the price was just so good that it's like it wasn't even there. And they told me, hey, after July 1st, we are going to have to make people pay the price increases. And we're going to raise our prices from what they were earlier in the spring, kind of keep up with the two price increases. I said, all right. I said, so basically what you're telling me is if I don't order this trailer now, I'm going to get dinged with the two 17% material increases. And they said pretty much. Now this was like June 20th. So I had 10 days to figure this out. Now my financial situation is still a little unclear for the future. Um, I'm working trying to get some stuff figured out. Um, my employer is gracious enough to pay me for one year. After that they basically let me go. Um, that is what it is. It could be a lot worse. I'm thankful I'm still alive and I'm thankful I still have my arm. But, uh, you know, a week after I got home from the hospital, all my paperwork came back from the state because my wife and I started a small business. We have not done anything with that in a year. So this trailer's been sitting here. I mean, we've been using it for personal use, farm use. My dad's been using it. Um, but I bought this trailer as an investment to make money and that's not been happening. So I was talking to my dad and he goes, well, are you gonna start your business back up in the future? And I said, yeah, if they let me. I said, but do I buy this trailer now or do I wait until I know what's going on and basically I'm getting dinged with 30%, give or take a little bit. 
So we talked about it. Um, he kind of dropped it. I didn't bring it up to him. And then uh, later, like a week later, so I had three days to place this order. Dad got a hold of me and goes, let's order that trailer and I'll go halves. He goes, I can use it on his farm or he wanted to use it at his place. There's stuff I can use for it here. Even if we don't start the small business back up, hauling the tractors back and forth, um, hauling hay, just things like that. You need a good flatbed. Uh, right here behind the camera is a 1995 Steiger that my grandfather bought new. It's an 18 plus two tandem axle bumper pull, and it's worked fine over the years, but we've outgrown it. Um, it does have fenders, so it's more of an equipment trailer. I really need something that uh, is a deck over so we can slide and load stuff on from the sides. So my dad said, hey, here's the options I want. You add the options you want. We'll split it 50-50 down the middle. So that was a lot more appealing to me. But the issue came after I put my down payment down. We put a down payment down a few days before July 1st. And it's like the last month. It's currently, uh, I think today's September 1st. Like the last month, I've been seeing nothing but issues on Facebook groups, online, forums, some YouTube videos. Guys having big problems with trailers coming out of the Diamond Sea factory. Now, to me, I'm kind of one of those people, when I buy something, I expect for it to have a problem. These are big problems, guys. Um, I've seen pictures and videos where they're, the axles aren't aligned right, trailers are dog-legging. I've read things where axles have not been installed correctly. I've read, uh, that one hair is really bugging me. I've read where um, electrical issues, hydraulic issues, um, gooseneck adapter issues. It seems like there's a lot of things going on. The thing that bugs me the most is recently I've seen some pictures in the last week of some piss poor welds now a lot of things on a trailer can be fixed i'm not going to buy a new trailer and have to have it welded on um some of these pictures are just horrible i contacted these guys told them i was going to do a youtube video and they all gave me permission well most of the guys that i messaged gave me permission to use their pictures from online in this video i'm not going to do that get on facebook go to some of these flatbed facebook pages Diamond Sea, uh, there's a Diamond Sea owners group out there. There's a lot of guys with some issues. Now, the one issue I had with this trailer before, I made a video on it. Diamond Sea reached out to me and bada boom, bada bing. They said, thanks for the input. They sent me a free hat, some stickers. And I thought that was top notch customer service. Some of these guys are saying now that it's taking them months and months to get a hold and get a feedback from the dealer or from the company through the dealer. By that time, they're like, well, you've had the trailer too long. We're not going to fix it. Jacob Crab, um, I hold that guy in high regards. I don't know him personally, but uh, I've seen a lot of him personally commenting on these Facebook groups, trying to make things right. Some guys recently are saying that uh, they're not getting calls back from him. They seem to be passing the buck through different departments at the factory. I don't mind paying more to get a better trailer. Now, when I did the research on this trailer, I did quite a bit of research. If you guys know, when I bought the Kubota, I did over a year's worth of research. I went and test drove every single brand I could find, and the Kubota just happened to be the winner. Was it the cheapest? No. But uh, when I was doing my trailer research, a lot of guys said that Diamond C is the best of the best. I have not found one bad weld on this trailer. Um, the electrical issue, that's a third party. I understand that. I understand a lot of these trailer manufacturers, it doesn't matter who you look at, camper manufacturers, they're using a lot of the same axles, um, gooseneck trailers, they're using a lot of the same adapters, um, hydraulic jacks. I get that. But uh, all that stuff doesn't mean anything if the trailer's not welded right. So I put a down payment on this trailer. It's supposed to be here this fall, which is another issue. Guys have been saying that they've uh, been promised trailers and then four months later they keep pushing their arrival date back but whenever this trailer arrives i'm not in a big rush obviously i'm going to look over that trailer i don't care if it takes me eight hours if there's bad welds i'm going to reject that trailer and i will not take delivery i think diamond c has done a fantastic job of marketing a fantastic product um, 
some of the words online now guys are kind of saying they're a great marketing company but they've slouched on their craftsmanship uh and the build quality of these trailers now i understand coronavirus has made prices go crazy people can't find help people would rather stay home and not work so i understand that they're probably in the same boat as some of these other manufacturing companies that i deal with with the campers boats all that stuff they can't find good help and that's fine but if if someone does a bad weld on a trailer don't let it out the door so that's been kind of the big thing that's bothering me lately there's been some other trailer brands i'm not going to say their names so reach out to me on some of my uh social media platforms saying hey how about you come check out our trailers how about you do this how about you do that i'm a small time guy here guys um all this stuff we pay for with our own money even the zooks welding products that i promote i pay for those being a small business owner myself in the past and partially now even though i can't do anything you can't make money by giving things away the stuff i do videos on from zooks i pay for those he's in business for a reason i want the guy to succeed i want my friends to do as best they can um that's just the type of person i am so i pay for that stuff but these trailers guys I may get one that's absolutely perfect, and I will let you know. I will do a video, and I will praise that trailer up and down. If that trailer has flaws, I will let you know. But uh, that's just bothering me right now. Is uh, That's kind of a big investment for us right now. Um, we're in the middle of trying to get ready to build a barn that we've been saving for for a long time, and the timing was just kind of right. Luckily, <laughs> the, the heavens opened up, and wood has dropped, and it's saving us a bunch of money on our barn already. Um, but this trailer thing has kind of been stressing me out, guys. Um, seeing some of these pictures, and I know it doesn't matter what company you buy something from, you could get a bad one, you could get a lemon, but this is really freaking me out because uh, I expected way better from Diamond C. So that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Um, I never come up with a title until the video's done. This one's probably going to be something like, uh, did I make a mistake ordering another Diamond C? Now, this one has been fantastic. I love this trailer, and to date we've hauled over 400 ton of stone in this trailer, not counting topsoil we've hauled in for around the house. Um, and not necessarily me, dad's hauled stuff, brother's hauled stuff, trying to uh, still improve this property. That's the main goal here, um, and we wouldn't be where we are without this dump trailer and without that tractor. But Diamond C, if you see this, I hope you guys get your things together, and I understand it's not every trailer. I still have faith in you guys, but uh, if you send me a bad trailer, I'm not taking it, and uh, I'll do what I have to do to get my money back from that dealer, and I will take my business elsewhere. I hope it doesn't come to that because you guys have been great to me, but um, man, some of that stuff's just not acceptable. So thanks for watching. It's getting a little dark. Mosquitoes are tearing me up, but uh, it's been 95 here lately, and uh, it's finally 70 degrees out now. I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. It feels kind of chilly out. So thanks for all your continued support and prayers, guys. Um, I'm basically ending a chapter in my life and opening a new one uh, in the future. And uh, I have no idea what that new chapter is going to be. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing for work. And uh, there's a lot of uncertainty, but I know the man upstairs is going to take care of us one way or another. Take care, everybody. God bless. And we'll catch you on the next one.